in this video we will see how to capture mocap data from video and adding here particles to it now let's open google chrome and uh, type for deep motion now go to this site and uh, sign up it is free for several videos now after signing in uh, you can click on go to portal the logo is just like Dini Nestar TV and okay now click on animate 3d then click create I've created some video now you can create and you can click create drag and drop your video file let's take some video here okay now you can choose your character by clicking here and there are several default characters Okay, let's select over this guy. Okay. Now turn on head rotation and go to video output and enable MP4 output. The output will be on MP4. And here are some default environments. You can select one of them, but let's yeah. Let's select the default and look. Head on head rotation tracking. Yeah. And uh, click on start task. It will take some time until your job done. It, it, it generally depends on your speed of internet connection. Okay, done. Now click OK. Here is your mocap data. The motion capture is pretty accurate and and, and very well done. And then and then see in this video there is total 381 frames to import it in blender let's let's download it Click on download and select the FBX. Yeah, now click on download. Now let's jump into the blender. So delete all the default items. And first go to file explorer and go to your downloads and extract extract this folder. Extract the downloaded folder. After extracting, you can see there are two FBX outputs. And now jump into Blender and uh, let's let's go to File, Import, and select FBX. Now choose your FBX file. Now we can see our 3D character is imported in Blender. hit play it is working perfect yeah it is working perfect now add some rain ground some lighting to make it more cinematic okay yeah
now go to particles icon and click on plus icon and go to hair we can see our hair is added but the length of hair is too too high so let's decrease the hair length yeah perfect and we'll now click on click the mark on hair dynamics so it will turn on the hair dynamics how the hair simulation works and you can see it is working really good now decrease the number of uh, hair particles to something like 250 okay Go to children tab and select on go to children tab and select on interpolated. This will increase the this will increase the amount of hair in the rendered rim. Now set up the camera and uh, render a single image to see how dense our hair is looking. Now let's render a single image. Okay, the hair density is too high. So okay, the hair density is too high. Let's decrease the amount of hair to something like 200. Okay. Now let's render a single image. Okay, it's it is it is fine but now add some new texture to our character yes if any pre texture are applied click on cross to remove it and let's add some image texture if we give a solid color to this character our hair will be the same color of the character like if we if we select red color, you can see in a rendered view our all hairs are all hairs is red. So let's select some funky color. Okay, now now open open paint tab from your computer. Here, go to mix color and we can screenshot this part of area by using snipping tool. So let's let's screenshot this part of uh, this part only. Okay. You now go to Blender and click on new okay click on image texture and then new then select the folder icon and go to go to your image which is screen sorted by you and click on open image now you can see our character has more funky color and yeah and the hair texture is also bright to some funky one just like our character okay now it is looking good Now tweak some render settings and uh, select the end frame to like 381 frame. Our our mocap data is total 381 frames. So our end so our end frame should be also 381 frames. So it is looking good in rendered image and tweak some settings like some increase of lighting and select the folder where you want to get the render and click on mp mpg4 to well, put your video in mp4 format this is easy because it can be easily imported in adobe premiere pro so you can see our total frames 
आर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी वाला सो लेट्स लेट्स क्लिक द एंड फ्रेम एंड सेट इट टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी वाला ओके नाउ यू कैन सी योर वीडियो इज गुड एंड लेट्स रिंडर इट Let's save this file first, and let's click on render image. You should always save the file before rendering because Blender crashes too much in rendering, and especially in easy rendering. 